you, the higher prices, though, have allowed you to pay down debts. Um, we have seen you coming back and paying a dividend, as you anticipated that you would. We'll come and talk more about that in, in detail in just a moment. But do you think these higher prices are sustainable? I, I certainly I certainly do. And, and again, gold um, needs needs to be looked at uh, in, in, in one way. And, and um, you know, it's, it's all about risk and safe haven. And, um, and I think where the world finds itself, gold has uh, got good prospects uh, from a commodity perspective. From the, the industrial underpin on PGMs, um, again, it's, it's very dependent on what the economies internationally are going to do. We've seen V-shaped recoveries in China and, and um, in the U.S., um, Europe uh, remains still a bit of a question mark uh, to us, um, but certainly the the fundamentals for the PGMs uh, also look pretty robust. There could be some volatility in the short term, but our, our medium and long term sort of views are are constructive. So 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 as a company, we're in a good position. Neil, Guy mentioned your dividend, so I want to talk about it. First time in three years that you've paid this out, 50 cents a share, $79 million, but it is below your usual payout ratio. Are you going to be able to raise that when you deliver your full year results? Oh, absolutely. Um, as you know, um, we, we predominantly a South African company. We've just come out of a, a lockout uh, or lockdown, I should say, in South Africa. Um, we are busy rebuilding production. Um, and, um, and we thought it prudent rather to go with a much smaller interim dividend. Uh, um, we, it's 15% of our normalized earnings. Our, our policy is between 25 and 35 as an interim dividend um, and obviously a first dividend in, in a long time. Uh, we, we've just taken a very prudent approach, but we certainly look forward um, to a, a much uh, fuller um, year-end dividend early next year.